Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Millwood. We're going to discuss resilience today. Resilience, what on earth is resilience? I'll just read it from the internet so you can have a well, fresh idea what resilience is. Resilience is a process and outcome of successfully adapting to difficult or challenging life experiences, especially through mental, emotional and behavioural behavioral flexibility and adjustment to external and internal demands. What does that mean? It means when your life takes a turn, takes a move, does something different, how are you going to react? How are you going to cope? How are you going to keep on going with whatever goal it is in your mind? How are you going to keep on, you know, keep on believing in yourself, keep on moving forward when everything in your life is making you turn around and you know, take a step back? Like take my life, for example, age 15, everything was going perfect. I was training for Sydney Olympics. Everything was going absolutely wonderful. And then at the age of 16, I was senior British record holder. Everything was going well. The Olympics were so, so close. Then I went blind and woke up paralysed. My life changed 100% because I had to say goodbye to the life that I had before and welcome this new person who had nothing. It was a whole new page, a whole new story, a whole new world. It was one that I didn't want to accept. I did not want to welcome this new new disability. I did not want to welcome this new life. I wanted the old life, which was, you know, Olympic gold medals. It was it was a dream life. Why on earth would I want to accept this new one? But I had to take it upon myself to say goodbye and to, to and, you know, say say goodbye to the wonderful person that I was before and to welcome this new person with the disability, with at that point, I wasn't really walking or seeing, never mind swimming. So swimming didn't seem possible at that point. But we made it possible, you know, with all the help from other people and from my mum and from um, the power of my mind, from my um, and power from Adrian as well. I pushed forward and we, we got the swimming back. We got the walking back. We got the moving back and we got the eyesight back. You know? So one little one little hurdle doesn't mean that you are finished for good. I thought my life was over. I didn't see the point in keep on pushing. You know, what's the point? I couldn't see, couldn't walk, couldn't move, couldn't talk. You know, everything was going wrong. But look at me now. I'm 10 times a medalist for the Paralympics. I've been to how many countries? I've traveled around the world who knows how many times. I've seen so many or met so many wonderful people. I've experienced so many different things. And I work as deputy lieutenant for the king, I do all sorts of incredible things, things that I probably wouldn't have been offered if I was an able-bodied swimmer trying to get the gold medal that way. So things happen for a reason. Your story might not go exactly as you want it to go, but you have to keep on believing that the best outcome will happen in the end. It might be a slight detour, but this detour will lead you to a better outcome. It will lead you to a better place. You know, I got the gold medal. I, I, I achieved the dream. And now look at all the other opportunities. Look at all the people I'm helping now. How many people have I spoken to? How many people have I cha changed mindsets? You know, how many people have I helped? I wouldn't have done that without getting sick first. You know, so things have gone fantastic for me by me taking at least 12 steps backwards. It was a massive, ginormous step back. But look how strong it's made me. I think in the book, Paying the Price, that I wrote, I, I say, God, please give me every single symptom of multiple sclerosis so that I can experience it, so that I can help other people. There's no point giving me one or two little illnesses. Give me everything. Give me everything so I know what it feels like, so I know I can help other people. I can make a difference to their lives because I've had it. I've already felt it. I know what it feels like, you know? So even though it was awful for me, it's made me stronger. It's made me more powerful. It's definitely 100% helped me. You have to think, how how can resilience help you? How can you almost change your route, change your direction, change whatever little route that you are following to make you better, to make you stronger, make you more powerful? How can you change your mind so that you reach the top of the highest mountain in the, in the planet as opposed to the local hill, you know? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be? You can be anything, absolutely anything you want. As long as you stay open-minded, as long as you stay strong, and as long as you stay powerful, you can do anything. This world is fantastic and it's waiting for you to say, please, let me do this. Now, we need to discuss as part of the Smile Limited, we can discuss whatever it is that you want to do. And we can make this 
whatever dream it is, we can make it happen. The, the dreams are wonderful. They're created in your mind. It's your imagination. It's incredible. It's a dream. You can make it come true. And all we have to do is believe it. Come and work for the Smile Limited. We can get you wherever you want. Good luck, guys.